Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Ian is a Weirdo, or Ian is Weird, depending on where you're watching this from. Today, I'm going to work on the August 2024 Stitch of the Month. Um, we are going to be using Heartland yarn. This is from Lion Brand. Um, just such a beautiful yarn, always. Um, I'm going to use a 6 millimeter. We are going to be learning the Alpine Stitch, which is kind of a variation of... Um, ribbing if you've ever done ribbing using um a front post uh double crochet um but don't worry if all those words are just like Bleh! don't worry we will figure it out together um it just takes a little bit of practice because sometimes the movements can feel a little bit um you know foreign if you haven't done it before but i promise you can do the stitch um as long as you can chain and you can double crochet. So um, I um, it took a little while to find the right yarn for this pattern because I wanted it to be easy to see, um, but I wanted something that um, would show off the texture a little bit so it might be um, easier to see on camera, but I did try some variegated yarn and this is my, I don't even want to tell how many times I've recorded this video trying to pick the right variegated yarn. So, um, this is a four weight yarn and we're going to use a six millimeter hook. Feel free to change as you desire. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and pull out some yarn. I'm going to do a slip, a slip knot. I want to see a slip stitch. So I'm just going to pull a little slip knot on my hook. Now for your multiple, you're going to want any multiple of two, so any even number for that is going to be your width of your project. And you can also work this in the round. So if you work it in the round, just consider um, you won't be able to work this in a continuous round, but you um, you can work it in the round um, if you want. Just make sure that you have an even number stitches around. I don't know. It's like, no, nah, I don't really want to pull that much. Always a great sign at the start of a video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So now you're going to add an additional two stitches and that's going to be um, where we're going to have our turning chain. Now if you um, just wanted to do it in the round, this would be the amount around and then you would still do your um, two uh, chains up to get to the height that you want. And we're going to go in and we're going to go into the third stitch from the um third chain from the loop and we're going to do a double crochet so we're going to yarn over to that third loop we're going to go through we're going to yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops on the hook now we have two loops left yarn over pull through two loops and we're going to keep on going all the way down so we'll do a couple more double crochets. Of course, there's always some noise outside um, whenever you do a tutorial. It's just how it is. So we're going to do a yarn over. We're going to insert into the next chain. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. One more. Yarn over, insert to the next chain, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So I'm going to go all the way down until I get to the end of this row. Okay, so I'm just finishing up my row, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert to last stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So 
At the end of the row, you should have the number of stitches that you are going to have in your width, plus you'll have this two, um, this chain two that's a turning chain, um, which we're not going to count as a chain. So next we're going to chain one and turn our work. So this is where we are going to start our four row repeat. So the first row is going to be, um, after that chain one and turn, is we're going to go into this first stitch right here. So we um, kind of branched off of it by doing that chain one. So right here into that first space, first stitch space right there, we're going to go in and we're going to do a single crochet. And we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch all the way down. So you should end up with the same number of single crochets that you ended up with double crochets in the row prior. So that is going to be row one of our four row repeat. count to make sure. So you can count on top. You see the V is a little bit easier. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's make sure we get that last one. See, I always like to check because sometimes my eyes do deceive me. Okay, so we are going to get this knot out of our yarn. That's all part of the tutorial, right? Okay. So next, we're going to chain two. And we're going to turn our work. So that now we're going to go into round, sorry, row two of our four row repeat. So this is where we're going to start our front post double crochets. Now, if you've never done this before, so we're going to kind of look at this and I'm going to hopefully find a pen within my grasp for the next five seconds. Nope. Okay, great. So I'm going to just pull that up so I can point. So this is all a row of single crochets. So let's, for the time being, disregard that. So here we have a row of double crochets, right? And on this last one, we have a um, uh, uh, some chains that are kind of making the height of a double crochet, but they're not really a double crochet. So what we're going to do first is now that we've done our chains to get to the height of a double crochet, we are going to go and do a double crochet kind of around the back of this, we're going to go in this direction. We're going to, all of our work is going to be kind of in the front of it. So you're going to kind of pin it like that. And we're um, going to do the double crochet around like that. Now there's also a back post double crochet where you go the opposite direction. I find that that one's a little bit harder, sometimes a little bit brain bending um, when you first start out. This one is the easier of the two. This is a great way to make um, uh, some nice uh, ribbing and projects. Um, and it might take some practice, but once you get used to it, um, it's definitely not too difficult. So we're going to do exactly what um, I said we do. So we're going to do a double crochet. So we're going to yarn over because we're still doing a double crochet, even if it's a, a weird one or a different one. We're going to go into that space that's actually a, um, a double crochet, not the chain space, but the actual post of the double crochet. And so we're going to go in, we're going to go behind the post. We're going to come around. We're going to yarn over and pull through. Now this is where this kind of differs slightly from a um, normal 
double crochet because we want to have enough height that we're going to eventually be able to build up to the height that we started um, with the um, with the two chains that we have right here. Does that make sense? So if we didn't pull up and we did a double crochet right here, everything would kind of curl in on itself and we don't want that. So we're going to kind of pull our um, hook a little bit. You can even pull it a little bit more because you can only go so high with those chains. And then you're going to yarn over. You're going to pull through two on your hook. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through two more on your hook. And that is going to be your first front post double crochet. Now we're going to be alternating between doing a front post double crochet and um, doing a regular double crochet. And so this can be a good time to kind of check the back of your work to make sure that you're going into the right stitch because sometimes they get a little um, askew and it can be really difficult to kind of tell. So um, we can see that this was the first stitch, right? Right here where I'm pointing my the red part of my hook. So this is the next stitch. So we're going to yarn over and we're just going to do a normal double crochet into, and I'm trying to stay on screen as best I can. I'm not great at it. I'm trying, y'all. Um, especially with my new setup, it's a little bit different. So now that we have that, um, we are going to um, alternate back to doing a front post double crochet. We're going to skip this uh, uh, double crochet that we, um, did the regular double crochet over right here. So we're going to be in this one right here. We're going to yarn over. We're going to insert behind, come out of the left, pull through, yarn over, pull through, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, you can go behind and really make sure that you're working into the correct stitches. I do really like variegated yarn for tutorials. We're going to do a um, regular double crochet here. Um, but it just was making it so hard to see. And I'll show you kind of one of the variegated options that I tried that just did not work out. Maybe two. I can't remember if I took it out or not. So we're going to keep alternating all the way down. So we're going to skip this one, skip this post, go into this post. Yarn over, pull through and pull up. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, do a normal double crochet. And you can start to see some of that texture start to build, right? We can see if we had multiple rows of this, we would see that distinct ribbing. Um, but we're going to do something a little bit different on, uh, on row four that's going to kind of change it up from uh, another ribbing um, that we could do. So we're going to front post double crochet. We're going to skip down to this one, pull up. And you can see the more that you pull up, the more kind of extended that stitch gets. Um, but even still, you're not going to change the height that much um, from having it fully pulled up, uh, pulled up, I guess is the 
That's the right way to say it. I don't know what I'm trying to say, y'all. Just trying to untangle some yarn and be... <sighs> sound halfway like I know what I'm doing, which, you know, is pretty extreme for me. I'm going to do yarn over, go into the next space to be normal, double crochet, and then yarn over, your front post double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now our last stitch of this row is going to be a normal double crochet. So that is row two of the four row repeat. Now we're going to chain one, turn, and we're going to put a single crochet in each of the stitches um, throughout the row. So we're gonna end up with the same number that we've ended up with every single row. This is a one-sided stitch, meaning that it only looks optimal from one side. Right now we're working on the back side. You can see that there's not really anything crazy going on, but here is where you get all that tremendous texture. Um, so just something important to note um, if you want to do um, something that has both sides of it you, uh, look um, like this, you're going to want to do something a little bit different. And that might be alternating to back post double crochets or something different. Um, just kind of depends on the look you're going for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't know why sometimes I just will miss that if I don't count. Sometimes I doubt myself. So this is the back, nice and smooth. Still looks beautiful. It's still a beautiful pattern. But that is row three of our four row repeat. And now finally, we're going to get into the last row of our four row repeat. So we're going to chain two. And we're going to turn. So our first step we're going to do rows um, two and four very similarly, but we're going to kind of um, shift um, four from two a little bit. So we're actually going to start this by putting in this very first stitch right here. So right where my red hook is going through, we're going to do a double crochet, just a regular double crochet. So you're gonna yarn over, you're gonna go through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Now, we're going to do the um, front post double crochet. So we're going to skip this because this is our chain. We're going to skip this because we just placed a double crochet in that stitch. And now we're going to go to the next one. And make sure you're doing it in the post, not in the part of the stitch that become, that goes into the single crochet. So right here, you're going to go into the post, behind the post, I should say, not into the post. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, really pull that up nice and tight. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then you're going to go back to alternating between the, um, the double crochet, the regular double crochet. I felt like I said that weird, um, like a Walter Cronkite impersonator. Um, and um, uh, then um, a regular double crochet and then your front post double crochet. 
always check the back. It's just really a easier way to do it rather than guessing, realizing that you did it wrong, having to redo it all. Trust me, I've been there from experience. Don't be, don't be the person that's uh, not willing to, uh, <laughs> to, to just like, just look. <laughs> it just makes your life a lot easier. We're almost there, and of course my yarn is like, nah, it's time to tend to get a little naughty. This stitch is so naughty. Really, it's not, but okay. So this is called the alpine stitch. So I guess you know alpine trees and stuff. It's could could be like tree knots. I guess I don't know. I'm just making shit up. Go behind, round, pull up through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, make sure we skip one, and go into the next row, yarn over, pull through, that's just a regular double crochet. Now you might have noticed how could we alternate and still, um, uh, have the same counts at the end. Well, eventually you do have to stop alternating. And so for this one, your last two stitches will both be regular double crochets. So that is the end of our four row repeat. Um, so this is it in the color um, Glacier Bay. Um, again, this is the Heartland. Ugh, I love this yarn. It's always so gorgeous. It's just tonal and beautiful. Every single shade that they have is so pretty, um, but it's always super expensive because uh, they know they can charge for it. It's also very soft. Um, so this is the, the, the outer facing side. And then on the back, you can see it's really nothing that special. It's nice, but it's just not really worth the effort. Um, but then I'll show you um, what I did with some variegated yarn. So this is the exact same uh, row count. Um, one thing going on here is I tried chaining more. I tried doing three chains instead of two chains in between the um, the double crochet rows and I didn't like it as much. I felt like there is more bulk, but know if you do have some of this going on that you might be able to adjust your chains um, and change the height. I know some people prefer to do like a double crochet and then turn. Uh, for me, I just, I just chain, it's not a big deal. Um, but anyways, I hope you like this stitch. If you have any questions, um, I would love to answer them for you. You could definitely go down hook sizes, you go up hook sizes, you could change your yarn. Um, you could do different colors, although I still think a solid color is going to be your best bet or like a self-striping or tonal uh, variation is going to be a better bet than something like this that's a true variegated yarn because all of this beautiful texture that you build is just going to kind of get lost in the sauce. And it's kind of a little bummer because, you know, you did all that work, you want it to be shown off and then like wah, 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 wah. So I hope you enjoyed this stitch. This is the stitch for for um, August of 2024. It's called the Alpine Stitch. Um, and I learned this from the Crochet This um, book that I found at the library. Um, but you can adjust it to do um, different uh, ribbing um, uh, and things for sleeves and stuff like that. If you uh, don't adjust that, um, that uh, fourth layer and you have all of your um, front post double crochets and then you can even do uh, back post double crochets if you want like deeper uh, ribbing anything like that there's a lot of options for ways you can play this up but I find that this um, I asked uh, 
uh, an army of weirdos what looked the most like tree bark, and this got the votes. So, um, thank you for voting for this, and I can't wait to make a, I don't know, maybe perhaps a tree out of it. So, I hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you later.